Coming to you live, welcome to my channel, my name is Kyle. Today I'm gonna talk to those of you who really wanna learn an instrument, but feel like you have no time to get it done. But before I do, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my content, it helps me out a lot, helps me keep the content flowing. Now, I'm going to assume that you already know all about the benefits to learning an instrument. You already know that learning an instrument has been proven to make you smarter. Learning an instrument improves your memory. It relieves stress. People are more happy when they know how to play an instrument. You already know all this stuff. You understand that learning an instrument will make you a more interesting person and probably a more attractive person as well, scientifically. And uh, for those of you who are single, learning an instrument could be just that ticket you need to attracting that special someone. I understand that a lot of you wanna learn, but you feel like you just don't have time to actually get it done. And today I'm gonna to reveal to you the 10 surprising secret methods that I've used and that I've seen others use that have helped them in the midst of a very busy life and a busy schedule, learn how to proficiently play an instrument. These are 10 tips that you can use with very little spare time. And this is gonna help you get to that place you wanna to be to where you can actually call yourself a musician despite being a very busy person. Now you can use one or two of these ideas or you can use all 10, it's up to you. But let's start with idea number one. The first tip I have for you, treat the process like eating snacks, not like eating a feast. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, when you eat snacks, you might grab a carrot stick here, you might grab an almond over here, maybe a little dip over here, right? But you just nibble away as the day goes on, right? You don't sit down, you don't set the table, you just do it, you stop, grab a snack, and move on. Okay, well now with a feast, you know, we're getting our stretchy pants on. We're sitting down for an hour, we're, we're sitting down with friends, right? It's a big old ordeal. Here's the thing, when you look at playing an instrument as a feast, it's too daunting, it's intimidating, it's it's, it's scary and there's no way we can devote the kind of time that we need to get good. But when you treat it like a snack, I'll just play five minutes here. I'll just play two minutes here. I'll sit down and play for a song here. If you can get into that mindset where learning an instrument is just five minutes here, 10 minutes here, rather than a big thing, you'll find that after a few days, weeks, months of treating it like a snack, you've actually gotten quite a lot farther than you thought you could. Okay, my second idea is to use a timer religiously. Okay, when we set timers, we set deadlines. When we set deadlines, we move quicker, right? We move faster, we stop wasting time. I use timers constantly for all my projects, not just music stuff, but especially for music stuff because I don't wanna waste time. I have so many things that I wanna get done in a day and a timer helps me make sure when I see that clock ticking down, it helps remind me, okay, I gotta stay on task, stay on task. Okay, so when you're doing other things throughout the day, if you're trying to carve out a little time for practice, Use timers to get your th things done a little quicker. When you're practicing, use a timer to make sure you're using your time wisely and growing as fast as you can in the amount of time that you have. My third idea is to choose an instrument that's light and portable. All right, now, a lot of you wanna learn the piano or the drums or something like that, and that's totally fine if you have the time, but if you're strapped and you really wanna learn something, it's best to pick something that's small and portable, something that you can take with you on vacation, take with you to the hotel, right? I, I'm talking about things like guitar, violin, maybe a saxophone, a trumpet, you know, things that you can learn while you're on the road, while you're on the go. But you could take with you to the beach, wherever you're going, and still find a little bit of time to practice. Idea number four, keep your instrument in a visible place at your house. Okay, don't cover your instrument up. Don't put it in the case. I always talk to people who wish they practiced more and their guitar is underneath the bed, in the case, under some books, right? They're, you're never gonna sit down and practice if you have to go through a whole process just to get going, right? The best thing you can do is have your piano, have your drums set up, ready to go, have your guitar hanging on the wall to where when you walk in the room, it's like, oh, take it down and play it, right? You need to have it ready to go or you just won't, make, you just won't find the time to do it. Okay, my fifth idea, this one's cool and this one's fun. A lot of us are busy because we feel like we need to make sure we're spending time with our spouse or our children, and of course we do. Way more important to spend time with your kids than to play an instrument, but playing an instrument has so many benefits and therefore it's also very important. And so what you can do is you can actually start learning an instrument with your spouse or your children. So sign up for guitar lessons with your wife. Take your kid to drum lessons and learn them together. This way you're killing two birds with one stone, you're learning to play an instrument, 
and you're spending quality time with family. Okay, my sixth idea is probably the trickiest one, and this is practice while you're doing other things. Okay, there's certain things that we do in our day that really don't require 100% of our brain power, right? Like uh, watching TV, if you watch TV, sit by the, if you sit outside to tan, you know, in the summer, there's little things that we feel like, ah, I want to get this, I want to do this. I don't tan, by the way, you can tell. Uh, there's little things that we want to do that we feel like we don't want to carve out of our schedule and so what you can do is you can actually practice your instrument especially if it's a guitar or something you can hold like a, some something smaller you can practice it while doing something else in college i used to sit my my buddies and i used to uh watch a movie uh like every weekday night i had a buddy who was a movie buff and so he would just all his collection we'd just go one by one and we'd always have a movie on from like 10 p.m to 12 a.m and my, we were all, it was super fun, but I used to take my electric guitar in my bed and just kind of do some scales. It's quiet, right? Because it's not plugged in. So I just take it in my bed and just do a little bit of scales while watching the movie for the first half hour. And in this way, I was getting some reps in, right? It's not as focused to practice. It's probably not the best growth you're going to see, but at least you're doing something. So practice while doing something else if possible. All right. My seventh idea is the most abstract, but it's also pretty amazing what's possible when you actually try it. The seventh idea is to visualize practicing even when you're not. Way back in high school, I used to take my guitar pick and while I was listening to, I specifically remember in Spanish class, which Spanish class is cool, but I would have my pick for some reason in there. That was the place I always did it. And I would just do my strum, strums on my leg and I would practice. I would just kind of do, be doing this with my fingers. This is for when I was learn, first starting to learn guitar. I'd just be kind of doing this and kind of like, Pit you, I put my mind in that place of, okay, on G chord. I'm thinking about the songs I want to be practicing after school, right? And there's something magical that happened when the, after school, if I'd been visualizing, I just, there's just like these little leaps that I've made just from thinking about doing it correctly, even when I didn't have my instrument. So whether it's the drums, piano, guitar, whatever it is, if you're a drummer, you can be, you know, doing a little bit of the beat under your desk while you're, while you're at your desk at work. You can be thinking about playing your instrument correctly while you're not doing it. And something about the mind, something powerful in there that actually prepares you to do it correctly the next time you sit down in front of your instrument. Pretty amazing. Okay, my eighth method is to prune your schedule. Now, this is probably the most obvious idea, but I bet you if you were to log your day over three days, if you were to jot down everything you did for three days, you could look back at that and say, ah, I really kind of wasted some time here, 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 and here, right? Start snipping those things out. All you need to carve out is five to 10 minutes, right? We're not talking a feast. We're talking snacks. Okay, look back at my number one idea, okay? But here, we want to clip those things out of the schedule that are wasting our time. They always creep in there. Clip those things out. Or maybe it's something that we've been doing and we decide, you know what? Learning an instrument is probably more important to me right now. So I'm just going to cut this thing out of my life right? Spending time with mom, right? I don't think most of us really need to be doing that. Let's snip that out. <laughs> Joking mom, make sure your schedule is tight, clean, give yourself some time to practice. My ninth important tip, stay inspired and stay motivated, okay? If you're a busy person, if your life is crazy and you're trying to half-heartedly step into learning an instrument, just stick a toe in the water or just a foot in the water, you're going to quit. I guarantee you, you need something that's going to inspire you, that's going to motivate you, that's going to push you forward. Even on those days where you feel tired, you feel worn out, you feel like you've been working all day, whatever, where you can, you need something that's going to say, hey, I, I want to be this, right? St you, I like to say, stay focused on future you. Okay, look forward. Think about the benefits of learning an instrument. Think about being able to play like your favorite player. Think about being able to play with your favorite people who are already musicians. Think about being able to show your family what you do or sing for your kids. Whatever it is your goal is, stay focused on future you. Stay inspired. Watch videos on YouTube. Read blogs. List, talk to other people who are playing and who are learning an instrument. Stay inspired and stay motivated. That way you can always keep your head in the game. And the tenth and most important idea, download my Peak Potential Practice Guide. Okay, for those of you who are already learning an instrument, this is going to be huge to getting you unstuck, right? So often I talk to people who are just, they feel like they've plateaued, they've hit their peak, or they've hit just this spot where they know they could get better, but they don't know how, they don't know what to be practicing. My practice guide is going to give a five step checklist of here's how you make sure you're constantly getting better. Now, for those of you who want to learn an instrument, you just need something to organize your thoughts from the beginning. Okay, so download this guide. It's completely free. 
Okay, click on the link in the description, go download this guide and follow my checklist. Make sure you're starting off on the right foot and you know how to organize your time. You know what you should be shooting for to make sure you're learning an instrument in the best way you possibly can. Thanks for watching. If I forgot anything, if there was any ideas I didn't think of, or if you tried one of my ideas and you thought it worked really good, or if you tried it, it just didn't work for you. You tell us why, why you think it didn't work. Maybe you can help someone else out. We can help each other learn, help each other grow and get better. And that's a beautiful place to be. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys stopping by and I'll see you on the next video.